Hello, colleagues. I am Jeffrey Horbar, President and CEO of Vermont Oxford Network and Professor of Neonatal Medicine at the University of Vermont in the state of Vermont in the United States. It's my great pleasure to join you for the inaugural meeting of the Organismo Andino de Salud Quality Collaborative. My sincere thanks to Dr. Alfonso Pantoja and the organizers for their most kind invitation. I have known and worked with Dr. Pantoja for many years. His knowledge and commitment to quality improvement have resulted in significant improvements for infants and families, both at the hospital at which he worked as a neonatologist and in the state of Colorado, where he was instrumental in organizing the statewide quality improvement collaborative. You are fortunate to have such an accomplished expert in newborn quality improvement as your scientific advisor and leader. Today, I will introduce the idea of deep learning, how we can learn together, what works for whom and where, the essence of quality improvement. I have borrowed the term deep learning from the field of artificial intelligence, where deep learning refers to computer algorithms patterned on the multi-layered neural networks of the human brain. Deep learning in AI has yielded impressive results, winning decisively against the world's best chess and Go players, and remarkably diagnosing retinopathy of prematurity as accurately as experienced ophthalmologists. What I mean by deep learning is different, but the results will be just as remarkable. It is learning by multidisciplinary teams of health professionals and families to identify what works best for our patients. Recognizing that every patient and family is unique and that the context of care is different in each of our units, this learning requires us to adapt evidence-based practices identified in randomized trials to work in our local context, to determine what works, for whom, and where. Questions first proposed by Pawson and Tilly in their book, Realistic Evaluation, that serve as useful guides to exploring how we learn what works in the NICU. Vermont Oxford Network consists of teams from over 1,400 newborn units in 37 countries, including 14 low and middle income countries and two hospitals in Medellin, Colombia, Clinica del Prado and Hospital Universitario San Vicente de Paul. We know that care varies dramatically among the 1,400 neonatal units in our network and that they serve vastly different populations. Not only are there differences in the services and technical aspects of care, but also striking differences in the social and organizational aspects of care, unit culture, family involvement, staffing, and leadership. Furthermore, the units are embedded in national and regional systems with highly variable resources and policies. Understanding how these differences affect what works and for whom is a key goal of deep learning. Deep learning is local learning, multidisciplinary teams and families applying the methods of quality improvement, adapting evidence-based practices to work in their local context. At Vermont Oxford, we refer to these practices as potentially better rather than better or best to stress that until practices have been adapted and tested in the local context, they will not be better or best. Local learning through quality improvement applies the Institute for Healthcare Improvement model for improvement. The model requires us to ask three questions. First, what are we trying to accomplish? Then setting an aim that addresses that question. Second, how will we know that a change is an improvement? What will we measure to help us decide if we are on track to achieve our aim? And third, what change can we make that will result in an improvement? 
Finally, in a series of PDSA, plan, do, study, act cycles, we plan the change, do it, study the result, and act on what we have learned. The scientific method in action. During this collaborative, your team will learn to use the model for improvement to identify and achieve your improvement aims. Since 1995, teams from over 750 hospitals around the world have participated in Vermont Oxford Network face-to-face -face NICU and web-based iNICU improvement collaboratives using this model. Working together under the guidance of expert faculty, those teams have achieved impressive improvements. You will as well. Randomized controlled trials are of course the gold standard of evidence, the starting point for evaluating what works. However, it's important to recognize that although randomized trials are our strongest tool for obtaining unbiased estimates of the average effect size for a treatment or intervention, they are weaker in providing answers to the questions for whom and in what conditions the treatment is effective. What works on average across a wide spectrum of patients in healthcare settings may not work as well or may even be harmful for your specific patient in your specific NICU. Nancy Cartwright, a respected philosopher of science, has taught us that an RCT can show us it works somewhere. Certainly not that it works everywhere, or for whom and in what conditions it does work best. Few trials are powered to address the detailed subgroup hypotheses that would need to be tested to address the external validity of the trial results to your patient in your unit. To learn what works for your patient in your unit will require adapting the evidence through deep learning and quality improvement. Deep learning is global learning. For far too long, we have behaved as if learning is a one-way street, the transfer of knowledge from high to middle and low-income countries. It's time to discard this remnant of colonial thinking. Deep global learning must go in both directions. Here are two examples. The evidence from randomized controlled trials is clear. Surfactant is safe and effective for the treatment of respiratory distress syndrome in high-income countries. Can surfactant be safe and effective in low- and middle-income settings, where skilled delivery room resuscitation is not always available, trained neonatal nurses are in short supply, and experience with mechanical ventilation may be limited? Answering this question will require deep learning through quality improvement. The evidence from randomized trials is also clear. Immediate kangaroo mother care, IKMC, reduces mortality for low birth weight infants in low and middle income countries. Can immediate kangaroo mother care be safe and effective in high income countries where reliance on and the expectation for high tech interventions are the norm? and experience with prolonged kangaroo mother care is limited, answering this question will require deep learning through quality improvement. These are just two examples of questions whose answers will require teams practicing in a wide variety of settings to collaborate with one another in deep global learning. Vermont Oxford Network provides a worldwide community through which teams can share their learning for improvement. Sharing this learning from quality improvement collaboratives organized in multiple settings and countries will assist in the development of national and regional guidelines and ultimately will lead to significant improvements for infants and families around the world. To fully achieve our goals, both improving the quality of care while also promoting social justice, families must be active partners in our work. In recognition of the importance of including the family perspective, Vermont Oxford Network 
recruits parents as paid faculty members in all of our collaboratives. And participating teams include parents of NICU patients as real working members. I cannot stress strongly enough that for our learning to be most effective, meeting the needs equitably and respecting the values of the diverse populations we serve, parents representing that diversity must be included as members of our improvement teams. It's been a pleasure and privilege to join you today for the inaugural meeting of your Quality Improvement Collaborative. The deep learning that you engage in together will improve the health and well being of infants and families. Please share your experiences with the Vermont Oxford Network worldwide community so we all can benefit from what you learn. Thank you. <laughs>